Since the dawn of time, human ingenuity has transformed the way we produce and use energy. The world now stands at a critical point in its history. Energy demand continues to rise, but climate change concerns loom ever larger. How can we keep providing people with the energy they need for heat, light, power and motion while safeguarding the planet's future? Technology is one of the most important levers we can pull. That same ingenuity that brought us the steam engine, the light bulb and the nuclear reactor will help us on a journey to a more sustainable future. Innovation will help us capture increasing amounts of energy. There are abundant, technically recoverable resources, enough to meet projected demand many times over. Solar is by far the largest, but several of them have the potential individually to exceed annual energy demand by 2050. For decades, people have questioned whether we're running out of oil and gas. The truth is, there is no shortage below the ground. And technology advances from seismic imaging to enhanced oil recovery and hydraulic fracturing are increasing recovery rates and opening up new frontiers. Applying today's best technologies around the world could increase the recoverable resource base to around 5 trillion barrels of oil equivalent. And improvements to these technologies over the next few decades could add at least 2 trillion more. Thanks to technology, the energy landscape is changing. Technology is unlocking more resources and ways to turn them into useful products. In the past, we've seen well-defined pathways from energy resources to end use, like gas for power or oil for transport. But now, conversion technologies that transform gas, coal and biomass into liquid fuels and chemicals, for example, are changing the dynamics of energy markets. In future, we're going to see increased competition, particularly in the power sector where renewables have the potential to compete more widely without the government subsidies they've needed before. For example, we expect the cost of electricity from onshore wind to fall by 14% for every doubling of installed capacity and by 24% for solar. In transportation, we expect liquid fuels, including biofuels, to remain important for the next few decades. Largely due to their higher energy density, and also because we expect the efficiency of light-duty vehicles to improve by 2 to 3% per year. Thanks to hybrid technology, improved powertrains, and advanced fuels and lubricants. The sheer scale of the energy system means it tends to change slowly. And it can take decades for new technologies to reach widespread adoption. But every now and then, something transformational comes along. We are seeing it now with the rapid development of shale gas and tight oil in the US. In future, we may see it with technologies like better batteries, advanced solar, or next generation nuclear, any of which could change the game dramatically. But technology alone is not enough. Although some energy concerns are global, the solutions vary widely from country to country because many things differ, both above the ground and below it. Local factors such as resource availability, air quality, public attitudes, and government policy have a major influence on technology deployment. So even if energy is seen as a global issue, it really depends on where you're standing. So, where might energy technology take us? The future is uncertain, but we're confident that technology will help us provide the energy we need and use it more efficiently. Most of all, technology will give us greater choice in how we meet the world's energy demand, securely, affordably, and sustainably.